the Illuminati were a real organization that did exist uh, in the 18th century in Europe. They were sort of kind of like the Masons. They kind of grew out of the Freemasonry movement, um, sort of even more secret than Freemasons. And uh, a lot of people think that they, well, they probably did have something to do with the French Revolution and, and that sort of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, according to historical records, they lasted for about 14 or 15 years, and then they were busted up by the, the police, and that was the end of them. They were a subversive group, gone. The conspiracy theory would have you believe that the Illuminati have continued to exist to this very day, and maybe even existed prior to the 18th century, in fact, going back thousands of years. Ancient Babylon appears to have been the center for this network and these bloodlines in the ancient world. When it moved across to Rome, that's when we had the Roman Empire. When it eventually moved across to London, the Great British Empire expanded these bloodlines to the Americas, to Africa, to Australia, to Asia, to China. Many of the founding fathers were Masons, and a lot of the very preliminary designs that were approved may have been Masonically influenced. If, if you look at what's been known as the giant phallus, the Washington Monument, as the center, it's kind of in the middle of a pentagram, and the city spreads out from that point. For institutions of freedom have lain dormant, the United Nations can offer them a new life. These institutions play a crucial role in our quest for a new world order. The New World Order wants to create a world currency, a world government, a world army, a world religion. And it's not a price, the Buddha, it's not a, the Muslim faith, it is a satanic order. The typical success, CIA, Mafia, FBI, the right wing, the military, the left wing, KGB, Texas all people, Richard Nixon, Coca-Cola, sort of a Freemason cult. But I like the theory about the world being descended from extraterrestrials that came here about 4,000 years ago, interbred with some human beings and have been ruling the rest of us ever since. I like that theory because it has a science fiction eeriness and charm to it. It's control. Control of our currency, control of our family, of our freedom, of our religion. They want it all. The truth is, that so much which is called conspiracy theory is actually conspiracy fact. Not all of it, but enough to show that um, the people that run the world are not the ones the news media tell us to.